Depression is a rough topic to talk about, maybe because it's so deep and raw, and bringing out emotions society almost looks down upon, which I think is totally the wrong way we should approach it. Like, we push it to the side because we're embarrassed to be in this state. But I've come to realize that it's okay to feel like this. It's better to talk about this to keep yourself and others, to help yourself and others. It takes a lot to open up to people because really, who can we actually trust? But that's the least of my worries now, knowing I'm not alone in this war. There are thousands of people that suffer from this mental illness and I'm glad to share my struggles for the sake of bettering myself and to reach out to others to realize you're not alone either. And that's what's helped me the most. I could only tell you, I could tell you a few si major situations that could have put me in this state, but I can't tell you exactly why it started getting so bad within the last few years. I've had it great in my life, and let's be real, look where I live. Damn near the perfect place to grow up, like so many people think Fishers is. You don't have to have a rough childhood or a bad environment at home, because depression is all in your head. How you deal with things, your outlook on life, and what people say about you takes a pretty big toll on your self-esteem. And if you don't have good self-esteem, then how are you going to achieve happiness if you aren't even happy with yourself? Depression runs in my family, so I knew I was going to be blessed with such a thing. But I started to realize something wasn't right when I couldn't get out of bed in the morning. I didn't have the energy to get up and shower or even go make lunch. All I did was sleep 24-7. There were days I was probably only awake for a good five hours. I was concerned, so I talked to my mom about it, and she suggested going to the doctor and asking him what he thought, because I had already been in therapy for three years just because of a series of unfortunate events that have happened to my family in the past. And my mom forced me to go. It's hard talking to your parents about something like this because my biggest thing was for her to feel like she has failed to raise me right due to my unhappiness, because I know my parents have done their all to give me a perfect life as best as they could. But she took it fine and she understood where I was coming from because she noticed something was up too. It was in best interest I get help. Going to the doctor was hard to do because they can't diagnose you with this mental illness without you having to explain what the hell is going on in your head. And that was the hardest thing for me because there were so many thoughts racing in there and it was hard to let it out, all out and explain it exactly how I wanted to. It's obviously the stuff going on in your head and physical symptoms and how can you be absolutely sure it's depression or me just being a lazy teenager. After a long talk with him, he prescribed me a medicine called an antidepressant. He explained that this medicine will release a chemical in my brain called serotonin because I don't produce enough of it. It's such a trial with this medicine due to all of the side effects. After all that, I felt good about myself. I was glad I got myself help and I had the support of my family to help me through this. Months went by and I had gotten a bit better, but not nearly anywhere I could consider happiness. I was still avoiding friends to lie in bed all day and do nothing with my life. I was basically just drowning myself in my own self-pity because that's where I felt comfortable. It had become a normal feeling where I felt safe because I thought no one else could relate to what I was feeling. I hadn't realized I was the only one suffering from this. Doing nothing all day definitely gave me way too much time to think and tear myself down even more. This is when I got the worst. I started thinking I was nothing to the world and I shouldn't even be here because no one cares about me. These thoughts scared me so much to the point I would cry hysterically for hours, begging myself to make these demons go away. I wasn't the bubbly laughing person I used to be and that upset me a lot to know I surrendered, surrendered to my de depression. I thought I had lost, but I wasn't fighting this alone. My friends stayed by my side even though I ignored and avoided them. They still did everything they could to make me happy, but no matter what they did, I still didn't feel happy. I didn't understand. I would get things I thought would bring me happiness and it just didn't satisfy me. I felt like a complete crazy person. I always ask myself why I need this, why am I not getting better? So many people do this without medicine and therapy and not, I was losing hope. <laughs> it wasn't until me and this kid broke up when I realized I really started to realize what it was I had to do. I was hiding how I truly felt from my parents and my therapist, but I wasn't afraid to tell him straight up how I felt. I let my guard down, and I think we all know how terrifying that can be in high school relationships. But I got bad one day, and he got worried, so he told my mom, and it was a long day of venting to many different people and talked about the help I needed at, the point, at that point. I hated him so much because I thought I could trust him, but I had already felt better by the end of the day. I know I had to make changes at this point because I wasn't going to go anywhere. I figured out that I wasn't achieving my happiness because I had toxic people holding me back. 
and as hard as it was to let it let go of them, I had to do it for myself. I realized I had to change my outlook on life. I had to stay positive and do things for me that made me feel happy. I couldn't keep sitting in that self-pity anymore. It was time to move on because life wasn't waiting for me. And I'm so happy to be able to say I am content with my life and this is the closest thing to happiness I have felt since I was a kid. If you think you're depressed, don't be scared to talk or ask for help because it can be extremely dangerous. Don't be embarrassed to talk or never let someone make you feel bad or wrong to be feeling like this. The mental illnesses are more serious than most people think. The best thing I could say about what I've learned from all of this is that life goes on and time heals everything. Don't forget better things also come along and you don't want to miss it.